Hey guys, Selenu here from playtoearn.net. In today's video, we'll be talking about some play-to-earn games that you can play straight from your browser. Yes, you don't need to have an iPhone or Android phone to start earning crypto with these games. So to get things started, here are 5 more blockchain browser games to earn crypto live right now. The first game on our list is Blockchain Cuties. Blockchain Cuties is a reading collectible adventure game being built on Ethereum, EOS, NEO, and Tron. In Blockchain Cuties, you get to play with puppies, lizards, bear cubs, cats, and other real and fantasy creatures alike. Blockchain Cuties is a new collectible crypto game where you can collect NFTs in the form of various creatures. Since Cuties are the main NFTs of the game, they are all unique and 100% belongs to you and other players. You can collect them, breed them, test their skills in battles, arm them, and even level them up. The in-game economy lets you trade cuties using smart contracts on Ethereum, EOS, Tron, and NEO blockchains. Each cutie can be transferred or sold to other players just like a regular cryptocurrency. Cuties can gain experience as you play and you can level them up to improve various characteristics, such as power, attack, defense, luck, and evasion. They come in different species like cats, dogs, bears, lizards, foxes, and even special ones like owls, aliens, and mutants. They also have types like regular, tribute, or unique. You can also breed new cuties using your existing cuties if you want more in your team. The game you can play right now is a turn-based battle mode in the browser, using your cutie as sort of like a Pokemon. In the future, there are also other game mechanics to be introduced, like dungeons, adventures, raid bosses, quests, seasons, and tournaments. And the game doesn't need an app download, and can be played directly on almost every modern web browser, both for mobile and desktop. For more info, you can check their website. The next game on our list is Crop Bites. Crop Bites is a crypto farming simulation game launched in 2018. It is built on Tron. In Crop Bites, players play a game of business based on real-world farming, where they can own assets and increase their farm's output and also trade with other players for crypto. To start playing the game, you'll have to sign up on their website. You will then receive a free trial pack to get a feel of the game and the economy without spending anything. Then, once you get the hang of the game, you can purchase a starter pack from the game store or from other players on the marketplace. Seeds, water, and feed are essential assets that are needed in the farm daily. The game starts with the crops and fruits players can grow. Once harvested, they can be processed to make food for animals or sold to gain crypto. For example, to grow 12 corn crops, you will need 1 cropland, 1 corn seed, and 1 water. This takes about 36 hours. There are also trees like apple, banana, and orange that players can take care of to produce fruit. Animals are another feature of the game. They have to be fed and taken care of daily, and in return will produce products like milk, wool, eggs, truffles, and more, depending on the animal of course. Animals have health which will deduct when not taken care of properly. There are also superhero NFTs in the game that can boost your farm. Each superhero is unique and has a unique set of abilities. For example, Healer can recover animal health quickly. Green can boost crop production, and Super Sunny automatically feeds animals. Players can breed and utilize these heroes to get the most out of their farm. CBX is the main token of the game and is used in all in-game transactions. It is also the currency used to trade with other players and can be exchanged for crypto. Players can earn CBX by selling assets made in-game. For more info, you can check their website. If you're enjoying this list so far, you can check out our website at playtoearn.net. We have different categories you can search from so you can actually find what you're looking for. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel so you're always updated with our videos. Now let's get back to the list. The next game on our list is Farming Tales. Farming Tales is a building simulation game being built on the WAX network. In Farming Tales, you can get your own farm and grow and improve it using various tools and assets available to maximize harvest and have a chance to earn awards. Farming Tales aims to offer its players a new NFT-based player to earn experience. The main NFTs of the game are the tools themselves the players have to use to improve their farm. By putting these tools together, it is possible to generate new NFTs that are linked to real goods and products from their farms, and ownerships of these NFTs therefore guarantees ownership of these products. When starting the game, you can start with a chicken coop, a barn, and a few chickens and grow your farm from there, as you adventure the lands of Farming Tales. Their white paper has an extensive list of all the NFTs you can use in the game segregated into categories. For animal production, you have hens, geese, cows, goats, sheep, and pig. For plants production, you have wheat, corn, olive, sunflower, hops, and beets to name a few. As for farm buildings, you have the coops, shelters, stables, vegetable gardens, water towers, silos, and barns. There are also special buildings which only one can exist per farmland. These are lumberjack, fishing pier, hive, wildflowers, greenhouse, hemp field, vineyard, peach tree, and olive tree. All of these assets can be utilized as they would normally be in real life to make your farm grow. You'll also need water and food which comes at a price to keep your farm running. You can earn SEST by selling farm products, and CBITs by completing weekly tasks and staking tests. You can check their website for more details. The next game on our list is Crypto Unicorns. Crypto Unicorns is a digital pet collecting and farming game built on the Polygon blockchain. In this game, players can collect, raise and breed unicorns, build farms to grow crops and crap materials, and play unicorn games like racing and jousting. The main game mode in Crypto Unicorns is the farming simulation. If players want to access that part of the game, they'll need to own a land NFT. Land NFTs have three rarities, which are common land, rare land, and mythic land. 
Players can play with just land NFTs, but there are certain perks when a unicorn is working on the farm. Unicorns can have one of nine classes. A few examples are Heart, Flower, Omnom, Crystal, and Moon. Unicorns also have stats that decide its power, speed, endurance, and intelligence. There are four key features to each farm. Farm slots, where you can grow class berries used for crafting. Workshop, where you can build more advanced materials using basic resources. Nursery, where the unicorns be and evolve. And stables, where you can see all your unicorns. Farms also have rarities, which decide what berries you can grow. Basic farms can only grow one class of berry, while mythic farms have a chance to grow every type. Unicorns can be staked in the workshop to craft materials you grow on the farm, and players can also send their unicorns out on gathering quests to get even more materials. There are also game modes that only require unicorns. These are jousting, racing, and battle modes. These are where unicorn stats come into play. The game has two tokens. Rainbow is the governance token with a fixed supply of 1 billion. It is used for staking and breeding. Unicorn Milk is the other in-game token used mainly to breed and evolve unicorns. It can be earned by competing in events and tournaments and is burned upon use. The game is live now. You can check their website for more details. And the last game on our list is Decentraland. Decentraland is a virtual reality game world being built on the Ethereum blockchain. In Decentraland, players can create, explore, and trade in a virtual world owned by the users themselves. The land in Decentraland are NFTs maintained with a smart contract. Land is divided into parcels, identified by Cartesian coordinates. Some parcels are further organized into themed communities called districts. By organizing parcels into districts, the community can create shared spaces with common interests and uses. These parcels are permanently owned by members of the community and are purchased using MANA, the centralized cryptocurrency token. This gives users full control over the environments and applications that they create. Players can explore lands owned by users to experience scenes and structures. Spaces can be anything players can think about, from a medieval dungeon maze to entire villages where users can adventure in. Players can also create scenes, artworks, challenges, and more using the simple builder tool, then take part in events to win prizes. For more experienced creators, the SDK provides the tools to fill the world with social games and applications. Avatars will also represent players in game and can be customized to their liking. The avatar editor provides a large selection of wearables and accessories players can equip for free. Players can also buy exclusive wearables in the Decentraland marketplace or earn them by participating in different events. Players can also buy and sell land, estates, avatar wearables, and names in the Decentraland marketplace. While the game doesn't have VR right now, it is planned to be implemented somewhere down the line of further development. If you want to try out the game, you can check their website. And that's a wrap for today's list of games. If you prefer playing on your PC browser because your phone screen is too small, then I hope this list helped you out. Which game on this list would you play? Let me know in the comments. And for more info and everything about blockchain games, check out our website at playtoearn.net, where we have the largest database of games out of all the info you need. That's it for today, see you next video.